Here we have a Mercedes-Benz key fob that came in for repair, and the customer sent this paper along with the key fob. And that's what's on the paper. He's pointing to a damaged chip on the top, on this side, right here on the top. And he wrote that he does have a spare. The fob is not opening, closing. It does turn the vehicle on, and he wants it fixed. All that good stuff. So let's take a look at the motherboard and see what's going on. And why is that chip broken? That's the firmware chip. NEC chip is the firmware chip. That chip gets damaged, the fob is gone. You need to go to a dealership to get another one. But the customer did mention that he's able to open the vehicle. I mean, he's able to turn the vehicle on, but he's not able to lock, unlock, and use the panic button. Panic button is not a big deal. It's only to locate your vehicle if you lost it in the parking lot. But lock and unlock is important. I do see the damage the customer showed in the photo right here. And it looks like we either have a missing pin or is the pin still here? Yeah, the pin is still here. The chip is broken from the side and the pin lost the connection with the pad. Nice. The pin is broken. How bad can it get, right? No problem. We're going to fix it. Maybe we can grind this area here. Or maybe we do not need to grind. I do see a small piece of copper left on that pin. You know what? Let's not grind the chip. If it's not broken, do not fix it. It is broken, but we can fix it without grinding. So I'm using one of those dual-headed tools that we carry and sell in our shop, the orange one. And the package comes with six different types of double-headed tools that you can use for multi-purpose. Do not use your tweezers to pry stuff. You're going to damage your tweezer. Let's pre-apply solder. We're going to be using the NF.mini pen. And just like that, right? We're done. Not yet. Like my kids. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. Hopefully that's the only problem. We're going to test and see. Now, I do see those lines are scratched, but I do not see them as being broken. And let's visually inspect the whole board. Make sure everything is there, all the components are present. No broken component, no knocked off component. No corrosion, no broken wires. So the board looks very clean. Mint. Perfect condition, not even dust on it. Some of the fobs we get in the shop here, you take out the motherboard from the housing and you find 
elephants, giraffes, snakes, bugs, everything. It's like a jungle inside that fob. But this one looks clean. And I do not have my film extractor on. It's only one pin. How bad can it be? But just for one second, I smelled, I inhaled that smoke. Not good. Even if it's for one second, do it. Turn the fume extractor on. I should lead by example, and I failed. But I do have a purifier in the room, a purifier good for 3,000 square feet. And the room here is what? Like 16 by 16. So the purifier is big enough to filter out the whole store, the whole warehouse. So I grabbed the customer's housing, the battery holder, and some batteries inside. I want to measure to see if the batteries are good before we measure, before we test. Meter in voltage mode. And how many volts do we have? 6.5. Perfect. Batteries are good. Are we going to get a light when I press on the lock button, the unlock button? trunk button and panic button and yes yes we do have a light we do have a light i'll show you okay all right maybe we can see the light more when we have the motherboard inside the housing and we're going to use a FOB tester to make sure that we are getting a signal. Okay, we're going to be using this FOB tester. But before we do so, let me just put the motherboard back inside the housing. And I can tell the FOB housing is not original, but it doesn't matter. And if you look here also, the key is not cut. So it was something that was bought probably off Amazon or eBay, but the motherboard is original. So now if we press on the lock button, we do see the light. We press and hold the panic button and we do see a light. And now actually this is the unlock button. That's the lock button right here. If I press on the lock button, we see a light. And if I press on the panic button, you're not going to be able to see the light because my finger is covering that light. But what we can do is we can use the FOB tester and we want to see, we should see two lights. One for the frequency and another for infrared. So let's go ahead and do it. Two lights. Two lights. I'm going to press on the lock. We see two lights. And finally, I'm going to press on the panic, and we see two lights. All right? So the fob is fixed. Short video, I know. What can you do? I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.